jump into questions. Coach? We're very excited to be heading to Houston for the 2023 Final Four. And uh, we are very impressed with uh, the other three programs that'll be joining us. And uh, we're excited to play UConn, a team that has won several national championships in basketball. But I think our Miami Hurricanes team, our players are ready to compete at the highest level of college basketball. Jim, before you guys left for the tournament uh, a few weeks ago, your message was to have fun. What's the message now at this stage? <laughs> have more fun. Yeah, I, I think, you know, basketball is a game and you want to enjoy it. Uh, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on yourself and be all stressed out. It's very hard to play when you're uptight and you're worried about maybe the score or the opponent. You really have to execute the game plan. And that means every player doing their job, executing their role. And we've been able to do that so far and hopefully we'll do it on Saturday. So Jim, have you noticed? you could take away from the last time you went, what your players could expect with the atmosphere and everything that goes with it? Yeah, I, I think my experience of being at a uh, number of Final Fours is this, that the venue is very different. You're playing basketball in a football stadium. Uh, it's very, very hard to communicate. It almost feels like you're playing outdoors. Uh, so we're, it's going to take time for our players to adjust to it, but we get a chance to practice on Thursday and Friday in the stadium, and uh, hopefully our guys will be very, very comfortable and confident on Saturday. Can you talk about? Oh, sorry. How far the basketball program has come? You know, being resurrected in 1985, having his own campus arena just 20 years ago, and just looking at how far it's come in the last few years. Now, well, when my staff and I arrived here in 2011, that was our goal to create a tradition here of excellence. The University of Miami is a fantastic school, academically a top 50 school in the country. It's won national championships in football and baseball. So we felt that our job was to compete at the national level and hopefully for a national championship. And after 12 years, we're doing that. Can you, Jim, hold can, on, Jim, hold on. Oh. Michelle, you go. Thank you. Uh, Jim, can you talk about what what excitement have you noticed in the community on campus how is the buzz different from a normal week or even the start of the tournament how has it built what are you personally noticing well i, I look around and we have about <laughs> uh, a dozen or two dozen cameras going here the uh, media attention has been from start to finish uh, first of all we got uh, tremendous student support and they cheered us on and helped us win uh, the ACC regular sh season. And now uh, we're, we're getting uh, more media attention, not just locally, uh, but nationally, because of our run in the NCAA tournament. We love that, not just for our basketball program and our recruiting, but also for the university and its recruiting. We want the best students coming to the University of Miami. I want to ask a follow-up about UConn. You know, a lot of people are picking them. They say that they have the height, they're athletic, they're tall, they have a seven foot two guy, 265 pounds. Uh, what do you say? Don't pick us. <laughs> <laughs> That's been our, our players' uh, slogan since the tournament began. And uh, we really uh, don't care because just about every team we've played, other than Drake, we've been the underdog. And uh, that's hard for me to understand when we're ACC regular season champs. And uh, I think the ACC is the best conference in America. Jim, Norshad's been having an amazing tournament. Uh, he's averaging like 14 rebounds, I think, at about 11 points. Just coming off of that injury before the tournament, kind of gritting through it and playing, just what does he mean to the team and to have the performances he's having? having? Uh, Norshad's the heart and soul of our team. He, he's got unbelievable spirit, and he is such a good personality. Uh, the guys on the team love him. He's a tremendous teammate. And he's a tremendous player to coach because he works so hard at everything. Jim, can you talk a little bit about the challenge of shooting in a dome and adjusting to that? Yeah, shooting in a dome is very, very different because as I said, it's like you're outdoors. So you got to get more comfortable with it. You have to have some practices, just like we did uh, going into the tournament using a different basketball. That's not the basketball we use at home here. So the guys got to get uh, comfortable in handling the ball, now they got to get comfortable in shooting in the dome. Coach, just deep into the season, how do you continue to get your guys to play at that high level, just deep into the season? 
Well, I think the credit really goes to the players, especially our senior leaders. Uh, the guys on our team, like Jordan Miller and Isaiah Wong, they've set a standard of how hard you have to work and how hard you must play in order to be successful. And I think every other player is, is following their lead. So I, I'm excited about where we are and how we're playing, and hopefully we'll continue to play that well come Saturday. Everyone healthy? Uh, at this moment, yes, everybody's healthy. You nervous, Coach? Me, never. <laughs> What do you think about FAU? How about FAU? Oh, sorry, FAU being in it also. Just the fact that a team from Boca and Coral Gables are two of the teams in the Final Four. Well, first of all, I, I think this is a very unconventional, non-traditional Final Four <laughs> with San Diego State, FAU, and Miami. I, I don't think anybody's <laughs> bracket has the three of us. Maybe they had UConn. But the fact of the matter is F FAU is a tremendous basketball team and program. We played them last year at FAU. Our Elite Eight team was able to uh, win by two points at their place. So we have the utmost respect uh, for their coaching staff and program. Coach, what's the team been up to for this weekend? Um, how do you hope to rally them up today? You know, I, one of the things, I feel like I'm a pretty good motivator, but right now my players don't need my motivation. They're already highly motivated themselves. They're great competitors and they're great friends. So they really want to play well, not just for themselves, but for their teammates. Jim, what's the scouting report that you guys have, that you guys have on Adama Sanogo? <laughs> well, uh, I guess the, the closest comparison is probably um, Baycott from Armando Baycott from North Carolina. Big, strong, athletic, can score in around the basket. He's a great ball screener and roller. He's a great back to the basket player, terrific offensive rebounder, and a real uh, defensive presence on the inside. All right, coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.